Can I just say, most creepy character in the entire franchise? Like, Jesus Christ, who kissed your mama with those eyes like that? <laughs> Why did I spit that out? What in the... Okay, I swear to God to you, I wasn't thinking when I spat that out. Choose a difficulty? Oh, that's a tough one, huh? <laughs> I, I I barely got the chance to start my intro. <laughs> They're already telling me what difficulty I want to choose. Huh. Do I really want to go with regular difficulty, though? Nah, who am I kidding? I'm gonna go with breeze mode. Call me a whim for all I care, but I don't care at this point. Ah, here we go. Hello guys, welcome to actually a new Let's Play that I'm doing for this channel. Many of you may remember Super Mario RPG as being one of the top, most big classics from way back in the day, back in the NES era when the game was first introduced to us. Well, guess what? The game was rebirthed again and actually remastered again in this brand new Switch port game. So, finally I got around to getting the chance to play this game for the first time, given that I actually have never played through Super Mario RPG before. But I heard a lot of good things about this game. I heard that the gameplay was actually pretty nice, that the characters are pretty well made, and the fact that Gino and Mala have came back after like tons of years later, which was nice. So, I'm really excited to see what this game has in store, especially considering that there's gonna be a load of things happening in this new remastered port. But it's even more apparent by the fact that the game also introduces some boss rematches that the original game did not introduce. And that it's also notable for having one of the hardest secret bosses in the game. I believe his name is Soltex, if I'm not mistaken. I can't, I, I can't be mispronouncing the name wrong. But the point is that, yeah, he's a very challenging secret boss. And, uh, yeah, judging by how the whole game is going to be structured in that case, I'm really nervous of how well I'm going to perform in this title. I mean, doesn't mean that I can't at least try, but judging by how tough this game is going to be... We doggy. I'm going to expect this game to be very challenging just right off the start as I play through the game. Hopefully things don't turn out to be too difficult, but I'm not making any promises. So, I'm really hoping to God that I can do at least good within Super Mario RPG, but the chances of that happening are pretty freaking slim if you couldn't already tell. So, yeah. Chances of that happening are really, really slim to say the least, but hopefully we'll do good, but I'm not making any promises. But anyways, off of that topic, let's go ahead and uh, get into our first battle here. Okay, so this first enemy that we got here is a Terrapin. They have only just 10 HP, and they're basically the guards that, of course, keep Bowser at wake. And I'm reading this from the best jury from the Wikipedia, so... Yeah, <laughs> dead. Well, that was lame. I didn't even get, like, a celebration joint. Attack. Psst. Dead in one hit. <laughs> well, that was lame. But to be fair, this is the early beginning of the game. Of course, it's not going to be that hard. And not that easy. All right, we got two of these boys, so let's tackle the right one. Wow, that only just did one hit point of damage. That did way less damage than I thought. All right, we're looking good so far, so let's move on. Wow, this got a substantial upgrade from the original version. I remember seeing this in the original game. I was like, what the hell is this lava? <laughs> okay, didn't expect that bridge to collapse right behind Mario, but okay, your boy freaking out over a bridge being collapsed. What in the world, dude? You can't enter those places. Come on, really? Oh, jeez. She ain't even from the uh, chandelier area. Oh, remix. I see you. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. Mario, prepare yourself to, to, for the great battle. Okay, so this is the battle against Bowser himself. He has 320 HP, and the chandelier basically has 60 HP. 
So, that what leads you to think that you would tackle through Bowser throughout this fight, but you can't actually attack through the chandelier itself. So, okay, that's one hit. Two. Mario, the chain! Attack the chain! Well, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> I wasn't able to trigger the first two times. I didn't even realize you can guard in this game. Uh, what was that sound? No! It's a chain reaction! Hang in there, chandelier! I'm holding on by the skin of your teeth! Whatever you do, don't let us go! Uh, wow, that is, uh, a little bit comedically embarrassing. <laughs> My boy, you're literally about to, yep, you're literally about to fall. Told you that was gonna happen at some point, Mario. You were not even paying attention. Bah, did you think I was just gonna let you out there? You're always in my way. This is gonna, this is gonna, I'm gonna t take you out, Mario. Oh, Rah! failed again. Did you see the tears in his eyes? What the hell is this game? Oh, Mario, you had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Eek! Mario, the whole castle's shaking. What is even going on? <laughs> like, like, already six minutes into this game and already some chaos is going on? What the hell is going on, bruh? <laughs> what the heck is that star? What in the actual world? Oh no, that thing is gonna... Super Mario RPG. What even just happened? Mario just got sent flying! Hold up, my man just got sent flying, y'all! <laughs> okay, hold up, I was not expecting that. Perfect landing, too. Oof! the whistle from like uh nintendo land hold up hey mario lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses anyway i came by to pick up princess peach since she got she she's a bit late bruh did you not realize that she just oh my god that is really disturbing mario literally just got hanged on the that is really disturbing. Oh my god. Okay, that was not the way I was expecting the game to start up. Okay. Chill out, y'all. Chill out. Man, look at how beautiful this game looks. I mean, oh, this looks better than the uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl remakes. Oh, you can save the game. Nice. Well, I guess this is a good place to save the game, but let's keep on going. All right, what we got going on here? Mario's pad. Wait, is there another place to go to? No, it doesn't look like it. That is really weird. Are you supposed to haunt this toad? Hey, I thought the I thought the princess was here with you. Mario, so where is she? Mario, what's with the, the silent treatment. You're not telling me something. What do you expect, Toad? Mario doesn't usually talk a lot in these games. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, will you please bring her back like you always do? Mario, I forgot something important. If you get knocked out, you'll wake up at the last place you save. But guess what? On this adventure, you'll save automatically whenever you go between areas. 
Oh, nice! I can save between areas. Nice! It'll save all the time, so if worse comes to worse, you won't lose too much progress. Am I right? You can also hop on this thing to save. Just the good old, just like the good old days. Referencing the older game. Use them however you like. They're great for taking a break from, from your adventure. That's everything important I can think of now. Get yourself into Bowser's Key. Ah, you do have to do that. <laughs> My dumbass. It's because I hadn't played the original game. Can you blame me? Okay, so what happened back at Bowser's Castle again? Hey, Bowser's Castle looking clean, though. Can I just say... Was that necessary to get that giant close-up of that thing? Halt! Who goes there? A trespasser! This castle now belongs to us, the Smitty Gate. Smitty Gate? What the hell? We have big plans, and this is the first step in them. If it weren't for noisy, character, noisy characters like you... Hey, don't make a Scooby-Doo reference! Come on, man! Really? This is you trying to be like Scooby-Doo in like an investigation thing? Well, we practically own this world! Can I just say most creepy character in the entire franchise? Like, Jesus Christ, who kissed your mama with those eyes like that? <laughs> Why did I spit that out? What in the... Okay, I swear to God to you, I wasn't thinking when I spat that out. Can I just say most creepy character in the entire franchise? Like, Jesus Christ, who kissed your mama with those eyes like that? <laughs> Why did I spit that out? What in the... Okay, I swear to God to you, I wasn't thinking when I spat that out. What in the... Andre, why do you keep saying random nonsense that doesn't make sense in what you're actually doing? Like, God, man. <sighs> this is just like me and my mom when we're talking every two minutes. Oh, my God. So let's see you deal with this. Okay, I wasn't anticipating the thing to literally just get rid of the entire grounds of the uh, castle. So how are we going to even get to them anyway? You can tell Mario mad, man. You can tell he was <laughs> kind of angry at that thing just literally... I can totally bet you that we're going to meet Bowser later. Alright, let's go back to Mario's pad. Okay, is there anything to do here? No, it doesn't look like it. You're back so soon! Did you forget something? No! No? What happened then? How the hell is this man walking in mid-air? Did I literally just witness Mario walking in mid-air? man breaking the law of physics oh my god i know there are glitches in games that allow you to walk in mid-air but that's legit the first time i've ever seen him literally breaking the laws of physics and walking in mid-air like that that is not fair how come we cannot do that yet and mario can do it unbelievable the bridge to bowser's castle is out now just wonderful we must inform the shin the counselor of the mushroom the Mushroom Kingdom had a counselor. Let's go, Mario. Okay, I was not aware that the kingdom actually had a counselor of all things. What the hell? Where did you come from? Oops, excuse me. Oh, that bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of the Mushroom Kingdom's famous items out to perk you right up. Oh, thank you. Whatever you want to use an item to get some HP back, press X. Eating a mushroom can give you a boost whenever you're feeling tired. Uh, now, why did I wish back? I had something to tell you. Heck! I remember! I came to warn you that Mushroom w mushroom Way is swarming with monsters! I just barely made it back here in one piece, Mario. Please do something! Perhaps I can help. Do you know about action commands? Well, at the moment, no, because this is my first time playing the game. Okay, allow me to explain. First, we'll enter a battle. Decent. Anyway, timing is important in battles. I'll show what I'll show you what I mean. First, push A. Alright. Alright, let's tackle this right Goomba here. Hold it! 
Now hit A as the attack hits. Oh! If you do that, you actually do more damage. I didn't realize that when I battled against those earlier enemies, the, uh... The, uh, Turrapins. Oh, that's really interesting. Good timing! When successful, your damage increases. Press A with perfect timing, and your attack will damage the, to sur the surrounding enemies, too. Nice! Hit A as enemies attack, too. Alright, I know about the guarding situation, thankfully. Now try a special move by pressing X. Uh, Y. Oh! Special attacks are in this game, and these Goombas have, like, 16 HP. Alright, a special jump? So what do we do here? Ah, I see. Ah, filling up a gauge, I see. Okay! That's really interesting. Well, I'm learning some new things as I played this game. Uh, now, why did I rush back here, back? I had something to tell you. That's right, we need to tell the counselor about Peach. I'll see you over here at the Mushroom Kingdom, Mushroom Kingdom Way. Just in case, take these with you. God, chill. This game looks so beautiful, man. It really does look pretty. Why is this game so beautiful? Alright, let's battle some Goombas. Three of them now! Oh, crap. Wow, that was pathetic. I was trying to press the A button, and I... Completely missed my chance. There we go. What the heck was that that the Goomba just did there? That was weird. Well, whatever. We got rid of the battle, at least. We took just a slight bit of damage, but it's not really that big of a deal. Besides, we can heal ourselves later, so it doesn't even matter. Oh my god, I missed my timing. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? Andre, if you do not get used to these guarding controls, you're going to lose Mario right away off the get-go. Losing in the first world would be the most embarrassing thing of your life. Come on now. Don't do this right now. Wow, I just killed those two at the same time. Okay, sure, that makes up for that huge amount of damage I took earlier. You know what, I might as well go and use an item right now because I've taken a little... I just realized I had full HP from the get-go. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Well, I wasted that mushroom for nothing! Well, your boy feels stupid after that one. Alright, let's tackle this paratrooper here. So paratroopers also have 10 HP. And considering they're flying enemies, you know what that means. Oh, that thing is weak to jump. Some elements are especially effective against certain monsters. You can deal big damage by taking advantage of this, these weaknesses. Interesting. Ah, I couldn't perform it the second time, but whatever. Oh, level up! I didn't even realize that Mario leveled up to level 2 already. Huh, that's a tough one. So physical... Flower boost or HP. That's a tricky one. Uh, you know what? Let's do physical. Yeah, let's do that. Why the hell is it a treasure chest of all things? Wait, can you counterattack these enemies? No, you cannot. That actually kind of sucks. I thought you can, but turns out you can't. You can actually attack paratroopers? I thought you can't. I thought they would actually dodge the attack, but never mind. Okay, I was proven wrong. 
I thought they would not be affected by the move, but no, turns out I was wrong. Gosh darn son. Well, it doesn't matter. We got rid of the other Goomba anyway. Woo! We're just breezing through this. <laughs> Phew! My life was flashing before my eyes for a second there. Here's a little something in return. Honey syrup! Nice! I'm assuming that will restore BP like it is in the Mario and Luigi games. You know what? Normally I would continue... That one Goomba literally almost ran into me while I was exiting. Did you see that? He legit almost ran into me. I mean, thankfully he didn't run into me, of course, but what the hell? Yeah, so normally I would continue the game from here, but seeing as my timer is now at 20 minutes, I think this would be a good time to actually save the game now. So I think this will be a good stop for this episode for now. So, I'll save the game here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's been tons of fun making this first episode. Overall, I'm really starting to like this game. I'm going to have to get used to the guarding controls so that I can make sure I don't take any damage. But something tells me that I'm about to run into some trouble later. But anyway... Okay, that just interrupted me. But anyways, guys, I'll wrap the first episode up here. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's been tons of fun making this episode. I will see you guys next time when we come back for episode number two of the series to continue through some more of the game and get rid of tons more fights. But anyways, we will see you guys next time for the next episode. So until next time, guys, bye.